late shift is slick as fuck. Mm. That's the best way I can describe this one. I kind of half teased in the last video that this might be my favorite one that we're going to look at. And it is by far easily the best. Whether it's my favorite or not, it is easily the best. Yeah, that is true. It's We were just really impressed just how it presented itself, just how it looked. It just didn't see... It seemed like it had a ridiculous budget. It does. Guess, really? Guess how much, how much do you think it, it uh, cost to make? One trillion dollars. You're close. Oh. <laughs> 1.5 million. That's pretty good. <laughs> 1.5 million is a lot for, for what's essentially an indie game. Yeah. It's the Wales Interactive Boys. It's the same guys who did the last one, the Complex. But way better. But they've upped it. They've just upped their game. Completely. Everything is better in this one. Yeah. Pretty much you start off as some guy, just a kid who's working the late shift at a, at a car park, and a criminal comes in, asks you to help him hold another lady hostage while he does something. Steals a car? Yeah, it's something of that. Something about a car. Something of that ilk. Yeah. But you just slowly get deeper and deeper into the crime life. And you can kind of choose whether you're going to get more into it or if you're going to be a good person. (laughs) That's kind of the two options. Some really good actors in this. It is kind of phenomenal how good these people and i've never seen them in anything else i recognize the main guy's face but i'm not sure what from i recognize it from this maybe and nothing else <laughs> maybe that's it maybe i just think that i've seen him before do you have a favorite scene from this one um or if just a favorite moment was there like a section where we were outside in water and we drove off a bridge yes there was a car chase there was a car chase that's the bit that shocked me the most because i didn't expect a well done <laughs> cinematic car chase yeah in this of all things because <laughs> like most of these games are in one room or one house or one area or one big building we said in the last one it, it mostly feels like they found a location mm. and went we'll write a script yeah this feels like they wrote a script with so much going on And instead of going, no, we can't do that, they went, fuck it, let's do it all. And to be fair, 1.5 million, it sounds like a lot of money. But actually, with all the locations, all the actors, just everything that was going on. It doesn't stretch far. No, that takes a lot of people. I'm quite impressed. Even just down to all the flashy cars, the police Mm. cars. The only thing in that I think doesn't hold up is the muzzle flashes of the guns look a little bit definitely fake fair enough i didn't notice that so well if you saw it you'd definitely see it yeah you'd definitely agree okay i'll believe you i really like this one because it really felt like every decision you made it felt like you actually had a choice like you could not not in not necessarily in what you were doing because technically you would still go down the same path in a lot of cases but it changes how people around you see you and it changes the ending which is something that's kind of cool All of these games, they say and they claim that, oh, you'll get a different ending. But a lot of them is just like, oh, you went down a wrong corridor and now you're dead. (laughs) Sounds like Until Dawn. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. So I I really appreciated this one because like we didn't necessarily get a great ending, but... It still felt like we earned what we got, which wasn't good. We deserved what we got. We very much deserved what we got. (laughs) We went down the route of... uh... Getting involved. Yeah, I think we got the bad ending. <laughs> I really enjoyed the bidding sequence and just being told by the lady, like, just stop bidding. You're an absolute maniac. Just stop pushing the price <laughs> up. And it's like, nope, nope, go again, go again, go again. It's fun. It's a video game. Go it again. But yeah, kind of unlike things like the complex that very obviously only have one set path and a couple of actual branching moments, this one, if it was that, hid itself really well. I couldn't tell which decisions were the decisions. That's true. It was kind of like, it felt like it was, rather than it being one specific choice that you've made, it's like you've made five bad choices and one good choice, so now you're going to get a bad ending because you've been a piece of shit most of the time. So it it felt more like... It feels accumulative. Yeah, it's not just like the Until Dawn thing. one moment where you're like, left or right, you choose, oh no, you chose right, you're dead. Yeah. (laughs) It's, It's, you've been a piece of shit, the majority of this game... Now you get what you deserve, you piece of shit. Yeah, 100%. I, I can't, I just can't stress how much, this game just looks great. The cinematography is the best of all of them, everyone we're going to talk about. The cinematography is wild. If they were all like this, I'm down for all of them. Because mm. it's engaging, the music was good, the action was decent. I think they maybe strayed away from action in terms of actual action. Physical person on person, they kind of went more for car chasers, but that's, yeah. they've got that whole sports car aesthetic thing going anyway. Um, the lighting, oof. <laughs> the acting, 
double oof. Yeah. Some of the directing, very quite oof. <laughs> yeah, it's all really good stuff. Yeah, I, I genuinely enjoyed this one. It was fun. It was easy as well. Not easy. It was easy to play and it was easy to sink yourself into it. I give Wales Interactive a lot of credit for these because they're the name that you see. Mm. They're just the the publishing and I imagine they just put in the decisions. But the people who've gone out there and filmed this mm. and done each individual thing and nailed it every single time. Well done. Quiet round of applause. You're the real heroes. <laughs> I I would highly recommend this one, actually. Even if yeah. you don't like these kind of games, get another person and dim the lights, get some snacks. One person can hold the controller, you can take turns. This was really fun. Yeah. Play it. <laughs> <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> um, thanks for joining us on this one, guys. Unlike Late Shift you have the opportunity of a good ending or a bad ending to this video. You can like and subscribe, or you can't. But which one is it? I don't really care. Thanks. Bye. (laughs)